you guys play out a lot. You play at church a lot. So sometimes they say that frequency can, can breed repetition and, and complacency and such. And so because you guys play and you, and you worship so much, is there um, routines that maybe you've put in place within, within the band or the group that help you um, become more in that worship state night after night after night rather than going to work or um, being routine, um, things becoming just ordinary? Yeah, we kind of had a meeting a few weeks ago, <clears throat> and we wanted to kind of look in at, at what we wanted to become. And one of the one of the main like one of the main sayings that I took away from that meeting was from a band from U, the band U2, and they were they said uh, something along the lines of we need to re audition for the position of best band in the world. So it was so it's not a uh, a state of you know we are the best band in the world and so now we just get to ride that wave but they wanted to continually you know better themselves in um in order to you know earn that title they wanted to earn that title so uh what what does it take in order for us to be successful on the road in you know a worship atmosphere we sat down and we came up with a list of things of what what do we want to what do we want to do what do we want to accomplish on the road how do we you know how do we want to keep the fire going keep the passion going keep you know loving what we're doing and we all came up with issues or things that we wanted to be and how to accomplish those things so we came up with a list of you know four or five or six things each one of us took uh, responsibility of that attribute that we wanted to do for example we wanted to have a a good spiritual atmosphere on the road as opposed to just being on stage we needed a pastor role for the road and and then Chris Kilala said I'll volunteer for that job and um, you know we all took certain roles like that in order to be pointed in in one direction and and, uh, on top of that I mean like just tonight, we were playing fierce, and well, you know that's a new song. We probably played that song, you know, a hundred times now, whatnot. And um, and man, when we came into that last chorus, it was like, boom! I was just covered in. I'll get through it. <laughs> I was just covered in goosebumps, and I had no idea why. You know, I played the song a hundred times, and um, and. And that's that. <laughs> I'll get through that. And so that's just kind of one of the things that it's like, wow, it's, this is, you know, th- I get to do this. Um, I'm still moved. I'm still passionate. I, I just got moved by this song. And, you know, it was like. <laughs> I, I will. I want to jump on that real quick and just say that there's there's also like I found the more I'm able to put myself 100% like, and this is, this is almost like the flip side of that leave it off the stage, the, the leave, the, leave the, the crud behind when you get on the stage. The flip side of that is being 100% present. The idea is when I'm up there playing, you know, I'm 100% in it. I'm not thinking about my bills. I'm not thinking about whatever. And, and whatever that takes, it might be, Lord, this is yours now, and you let it go. It might be that I've found that it almost has become a skill that you can, you can just make it happen and I am now 100% present in that exact moment Uh, and that makes it to where the repetitive never happens really for me I can and and hey I play pad like (laughs) right it's saying something Uh, uh, that's saying something I play a lot of pad and and I I very rarely find myself bored and it's not I mean it's you know it doesn't matter if it's an arena or if it's at church or whatever if you're 100% in it uh, you're not going to be bored